Hi everyone, welcome to Patty's Polish Corner and 12 Days of Christmas Nail Art. Today is day five, so uh, let's take a look at the picture that I have coming up and then I'll show you how I created it. So let's get started. Today I'll be using my Wave Gel Base Gel in Shiny No Clean Top Coat. I have a new red um, Christmassy nail polish that, oddly enough, comes in a brown box. I don't know why, <laughs> but it's really pretty and, ironically, <laughs> it's called Dracula's Cup. Don't know why. <laughs> Maybe it's a good Halloween color as well. It's kind of a red, sparkly, metallic y color. Definitely good for Christmas. Since this is the first time using it, I thought we would take a look and see how it goes on. Pretty much applies just like any of the other wave gel colors. And I'm also using snow ice. I'm only showing the application of the um, Dracula's cup. You've probably seen me apply snow ice about a million times. This seems to have some like glitters in it, which I wasn't, I wasn't sure that it would. I thought it was not going to have any glitter in it. So that's two coats of Dracula's Cup, and I think that'll be good enough for this manicure. Okay, so I have two coats of Dracula's Cup and the shiny no clean top coat and i've got one coat of snow ice and no top coat and next what i will be using is my new braves diva polish and this one is called peppermint bark in the park i completely love this it's got some green shiny flakies and some teeny red glitters in it and it's completely Christmassy and beautiful. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put one coat of peppermint bark in the park over snow ice. I got this idea, um, it was on the Braves Diva polish website um i mean facebook page called bleacher creatures and somebody um, was doing a review she posted the review i'll post the link to it um because offhand i can't remember who it was and she just thought it was looked so good with the one coat of course i think she got more green on it than i'm getting right now where's my green oh i think you see one See if I can get a couple more greens on there. And she said it looked so pretty just with the one coat. Then I thought, I think I'll do that. Because it's a crawly, so you can build it up and it'll look kind of like, um, I don't know, Christmas milkshake or something like that. <laughs> but um, she thought it looked so pretty with just the glitters kind of showing there. Ah, uh, there we go. There's a couple green ones. And uh, it looked all sparkly, so I thought that's what I would do. Of course, I kind of planned on getting more green glitter out. So let me see if I can do that for my other fingers. Okay, I think this one will have more green. There we go. So I thought that's, that what, that's what I'm going to do for this one. Um, I was trying to figure out you know, what to stamp on it and if I should stamp anything on it. But I think just for this Manny, I'm just going to leave it and it's all glittery beautifulness and what's more Christmassy than red and green and white. <laughs> 
So let's see. Let's put some on this finger. I don't usually paint my thumb on camera. There we go. And this looks beautiful. So we'll just wait for that to dry and then we'll put a top coat on it and we'll be done. Really quick, really simple Christmas design. Okay, and since this is just a regular polish, I'm just gonna put uh, my Stash Feet um, quick dry top coat over the top. Instead of a, um, instead of a gel top coat. That way it will dry quickly. This is really a shiny top coat, so it should um, be the same, you know, shininess as my other nails. And I'll come back for the finished look. Okay, so here's the finished look. That's Dracula's Cup and Peppermint Park, Bark in the Park. <laughs> Quick and easy, really fun, Manny. I did put two coats of the Sash Vite over the um, peppermint bark to smooth out the glitter. And I hope you like this one. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not one of my subscribers, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.